There are four assumptions of a linear regression test. The first is similar to what we saw in the t-test. We have to meet the assumption that x and y are independent, and there's not really any easy way to, to determine that from the data themselves, but rather we have to think about the design of the experiment or the nature of the relationship as we talked about it when thinking about what was going on with the flowers. Whether the relationship is linear or not is something that we can determine by examining the data. It's possible that there might be some other kind of curve besides a straight line, maybe a parabola or a logarithmic curve or some other sort of model that we should be fitting rather than a line. In the case of the data we just looked at, a line is probably as good as anything else, so that assumption should be met. The other two assumptions also are similar to what we saw with the t-test because they involve a normal distribution and equal variance. But in this particular case, since we don't have two different groups, what are the things that need to be normally distributed? In the case of a regression, it's the residuals that have to be normally distributed. And the variance of the residuals have to be the same for all values of x. Residuals are the distance vertically of each point from the best fit line. How far is each point above or below the best fit line? This diagram shows the model with the points and the residuals shown as green lines. If we plot the residuals with their distance from their line, a positive distance means they're above the line, negative distance means they're below the line. And when we are performing a best fit calculation to determine the model, it's these residuals that the least squares method tries to minimize. It fits a line that makes the sum of all of the squares of these residuals be as small as possible. It's relatively easy in R to look at the residuals of any linear model. We just simply have to apply the function residual to the model. We can then plot those residuals against the value of x, just the way we plot anything else. And if we do that, here's what the residuals look like in this particular case. So it's these residuals that we need to check for normality and also check to see if their variance is equal.